So here's that case that I got. If you look on the front, it's got a nice little lip here. Keep the rain out. This is wide open, so this is definitely not sealed. I suppose uh, you could maybe get away with it. This is the back side. It would go essentially on right here. Again, this is the power point, or power port, I should say. That is definitely not sealed. This is going to literally just go straight through here, and you can kind of see the play that that's got. It's completely useless. It does have a nice little screw cover here to connect into this. This is the base. Nice little three screws. It gives those mounting bolts to you right there. You can kind of do your own thing. And of course, these little screws in here, this bag with the screwdriver is actually a nice touch. So you can take and put these two together. If I take a camera here and slide it in, this is the Waze camera, Waze, whatever they want to call it, slides right in, hooks right up. I mean, that's all you see. It essentially makes it into a black case. Pretty decent, but again, when you flip it around, put the power port in, there's a ton of room in there. So this thing is not going to really be waterproof unless you... You know, caulk, silicone, all of this. You're going to have to do something here and essentially put it right on the camera itself so it doesn't let moisture in. It does have a hole in the bottom here for it to drip out. You can kind of see that right there. And then, of course, you'll have to do something here. I mean, the little ledges are, are a nice touch, but at the end of the day, the only way I could recommend this is if you're putting it over an overhang or something, and your camera is essentially not going to get rained on and it's just a housing at this point to me it's completely useless for putting it outdoors in a, an environment that might get wet i'm not sure about cold and frosty i'm sure blowing snow will get into this thing as well i plan on putting mine outside underneath an overhang snow may or may not get into it i guess i'll have to update you on how i go ahead and uh seal this bad boy up okay guys I did just caulk this bad boy up, and hopefully you can see it. I pretty much did the perimeter, left the bottom wide open, went around, did the top all around. And of course, I did this back plug, just used 100% silicone, did the screw holes too, I'm sure you can see that here. And then later on I'll get it mounted up and you can kind of see kind of what my plan is. Um, I know I talked earlier about caulking the front of it up here. I didn't touch it just because I didn't want to interfere with anything on the camera. I think my overhang will be uh, plenty sufficient, but of course, uh, once I get it out there and we get blowing snow, we'll we'll figure out what happens, so stay tuned. Okay, here is that camera mount. I'm not sure if you can see it yet. I do have it under an overhang like I was telling you guys about. I just got everything mounted. It's kind of put up here in the corner. It's overlooking uh, essentially my front yard. I get my porch and everything. It's kind of like a vision like that. But it's right here. Did a little drilling, a little bit of caulking. Like I said, I didn't touch the front of this thing. But with the amount of overhang I've got here, I don't think it's going to matter. The only problem would be is if you didn't have an overhang. So that's where it is. I think we're good to go. Now it just turns into whether the camera is going to work on the cold temps or not.